Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of grade 4 periventricular leukomalacia. A 29 days old preterm neonet admitted to the NICU was sent to us for brain ultrasound. It had a history of perinatal asphyxia and hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the coronal section of the brain with high frequency linear transducer. Extensive cystic spaces are noted throughout the cerebrum. This is the frontoparietal lobe and you can see these cystic structures. In sagittal section, you can see these extensive cystic spaces occupying not only the periventricular region but also the frontoparietal occipital lobes. This is the lateral ventricle and you can see the hyperechogenicity at the periventricular region and diffuse cystic spaces throughout the frontoparietal lobes. These cystic spaces also extends up to the deep white matter this is the part of deep white matter and you can see the cystic spaces. And in coronal section you also can see this is the periventricular region which shows the increased echogenicity. This is the frontal horn. So this is a case of periventricular leukomalacia grade 4. Here you can see the part of lateral ventricle, this is the thalamus, which is quite echogenic here. Here is hyperechogenic foci, which took my attention. Color Doppler shows internal vascularity, indicating the choroid plexus. So here is the picture of the sagittal section and coronal section of the neonatal brain. You can see this is the cavum septum pellucidum. This is the left frontal horn. Right frontal horn is not visualized here due to oblique section. And this is the midline fissure. You can see extensive cystic spaces and increased periventricular echogenicity with tiny cystic spaces extending up to the deep white matter. This is the sagittal section. You also can see these extensive cystic spaces. Here is another picture and you can see the increased echogenicity of the periventricular region with small cystic spaces extending up to the deep white matter. These cystic spaces are present in frontoparietal occipital and also in the temporal lobes, indicating it as a grade 4 periventricular leukomalacia. So in summary, areas of increased periventricular echogenicity was noted. Extensive cystic lesions in frontoparietal occipital temporal lobes are seen which extend up to the deep white matter, indicating grade 4 periventricular leukomalacia. This is also known as white matter injury of prematurity. Now the take-home message. There is a sonographic classification of periventricular leukomalacia. In grade 1, there will be transient increase in periventricular echogenicity for more than 7 days. There will be no cystic spaces. In grade 2, there will be small periventricular cysts along with increased periventricular echogenicity. In case of grade 3, these cystic spaces extend up to the occipital and frontoparietal regions. And in grade 4, these cystic lesions extend up to the deep white matter. This grading will help our clinician understand the present condition of the neonate as well as the prognosis. In my case, if the neonate can survive, which is of low possibility, then the common possible prognosis will be cerebral palsy. So thank you for watching this video. Hope it helps. If it helps, then subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.